In this video, we're going to take a look at creating maps in QDA Minor. It's important to note that mapping can be performed in both QDA Minor and in WordStat, but in this video, we'll concentrate on mapping in QDA Minor only. QDA Minor's mapping feature allows you to analyze the spatial distribution of the codes in your codebook. This project contains data on more than 59,000 crimes that took place in San Francisco. In order to map, you will either need to have longitude or latitude, or geographic projected coordinates x and y stored as variables in your project. Please see the video on geocoding for more information on how to compute geographic coordinates. The mapping function is available throughout QDA Minor. For example, when performing a coding retrieval or a coding frequency, listing hyperlinks, or coding by variable. Anywhere this button is shown. Let's take a look at how to map from a coding frequency tree graph. Perform your coding frequency, select the codes you'd like to map, and then select the mapping button. You're now given the opportunity to modify the previously chosen topics to map in the drop down menu. We'll map them all. The Geographic Coordinates drop down allows you to select which set of variables contains the geographic location information to be used for mapping. Two types of coordinates can be used latitude and longitude, or projected coordinates. You're then asked to choose a base map. You can choose a web map service, which are identified by online in brackets after the name. These require an internet connection. You can also choose a geolocalized raster file or world files. These files may be used without an internet connection. Setting this option to other will allow you to select an image file located on your computer. It can be a satellite photo, a street map, a topographical map, or any other representation of a geographic region, as long as it's accompanied by a world file that contains the appropriate information to convert the image coordinates to real-world geographic coordinates. Let's choose an open street map. The shapefile list box displays the currently available shapefiles. Shapefiles are geospatial vector data format for GIS systems. QDA Miner provides you with a few shapefiles. Thousands of additional shapefiles can be downloaded for free from various websites. To access a list of some of the websites, select the Search for Shapefiles command from the Help menu. We're going to choose San Francisco zip codes. You can transfer additional variables to the mapping module if you choose. In our case, we're not going to. The Placemark Content options allow you to select how data points will be created, as well as what information will be used to describe each data point. We're going to choose Case Descriptor, Text Segment, and Code Name. Marker Setup allows you to choose how your markers will look. Selecting Assign Manually allows you to associate codes to specific symbols. Selecting Generate Automatically allows you to configure the sequence in which the symbols are being generated. For example, you can select your color palette. We'll go with Victorian. Once you've set all your options, select OK. The mapping module takes a moment to populate. And here we have our map of crime in San Francisco. In our upcoming videos, we're going to take a look at the mapping module's interface and its various functions.